Now it's time for the crew and the driver to test the car and the... The first days of the meet are strenuous and exhausting. The track is in continuous use by contestants, making test runs in time trials. All classes participate, and crews make run after run, trying to get their cars in perfect tune. For the spectator, it's an exciting time too, because they have the opportunity to observe the many different classes in action and compare their elapsed times. It is not at all unusual for the meet's best elapsed time to be set during the time trials. Parking lots and stands were filled to capacity as enthusiasts turned out in droves. Hot rodding has really come of age in the last decade. Since 1950, the sport has grown from only two active strips to the present colossal number of more than 250. This group from Washington represents the best in cooperation. Father drives and the whole family acts as crew. Whether it's an airplane engine or a V8, there's always work to be done. And a cool drink hits the spot on a hot day. For us, the big day was here. We were ready for the flat out run to see if we really had it or not. We check with Champion to make sure we have the right heat range. The Parkers were all at it too, making their last minute adjustments. A word with one of the toughest competitors, Chuck Jones of the Sidewinder crew from Long Beach, California. And then we were ready to take her down to the line. Side, California. It's the Martin Nelson machine, the Masters Track Master. They'll be running down for a record run. Down the top with top elapsed time on our Cron Deck clocks. A 9.1259 national championship drag races. The scene, the Detroit Dragway, Detroit, Michigan. We have competition coming from as far south as the Panama Canal Zone and as far north as the Canadian area from the east coast to the west coast. Two cars in the sea gas class. Jamie Parker on the tower side. It looked like everybody in Detroit was in the stands. Bill Parker in his A-gas coupe against Bill Waddell. Two 
four bangers with Ray Huckabee of Houston, Texas on the spectator side taking an early lead. A Thunderbird and a Corvette in the sports car class. Two Chevy sedans vying for class honors. The original hot rods, two street roadsters. An Austin against a Fiat in the altered coupe class. The Cotton Pickens Special from Arizona taking the lead in the modified roadster class. In the competition coupe class, Nike and Veselka's last year's class winner blows up and loses to Robert Andrews of Ohio. Bernie Partridge in Miss Fortune from California gets a good start in the modified roadster class. With only minutes left, we got her buttoned up and down to the staging area. Jack Moss's twin Chevy taking a good lead over Arfon's green monster. Tex Ishimaru taking an early lead in his A Dragster. And the very beautiful Misfire III, a blown Chrysler Dragster from California on the spectator side. Two blown A Dragsters getting off to a good start. Two Texans, Jack Moss in his twin Chevy, being taken by Rod Singer on the tower side. Dode Martin in the Dragmaster, losing to Tets Ishimaru. Dragmaster with a lower ET, but Tets getting off the line better. Well, that's drag racing. Herman Moser in his ramrod getting off to a slow start. Two beautiful altars, the red coupe from Texas dusting off the bronze entry from Ohio. Charles Johnson from Michigan, trailing John Klein from Massachusetts in the modified roadster class. The very fast Hollish Brothers competition coupe with Jiggs Shamblin from Ohio taking a terrific lead. Rod Singer from Texas eliminates Bill Tibbles of Ohio and takes another step up the ladder. The crowd waits anxiously for the runoff of the little eliminator to get underway. And there goes George Montgomery of Dayton, Ohio. The winner with hood flying. Otis Smith of Ohio, a Roadster class winner, takes on Gabby Bleeker of Illinois, a altered winner, to win middle eliminator. Wally Parks, president of NHRA, talking to Mr. Ed Cole, general manager of Chevrolet, and Robert Peterson, publisher of Hot Rod magazine, with Mr. Tex Colbert, president of Chrysler Corporation. The grand prize, the DA Lubricants Chevrolet El Camino. Rod Singer on the way up to the line to run against Jig Shamblin for Mr. Top Eliminator. Rick gets a shot for Hot Rod as the crowd watches. And they're off. Up to the halfway mark, they're neck and neck. And coming into the traps is Rod Singer way out in front. Bad luck for Jig Shandlin, who dropped the clutch in the Hollish Brothers' beautiful competition coupe. 
On the starting line, the Green Monster, 1945 Allison Power Dragster with much, much go. And there's the flag. It's Bill Smith getting on the big green sign. He approaches the quarter mark of the trip, going wild up to halfway. He's on it and into the big quarter. He's really coming on and into the traps with a top time, a top conduct time of 170.45 miles per hour. 170.45 miles per hour with the top time of the meet. And then the awards. The trophy for traveling the greatest distance to the Nationals, accepted by Mike Bamber. The award for the best appearing car and crew goes to Daryl Zimmerman of Colorado. And the trophy for the best engineered car to Mr. and Mrs. Lindley's Miss Fire the Third from California. Wally Parks presents the Eliminators Trophy in the sports car class to Jack Horsley, Jr. of Miami, Florida, who won in his Lincoln-powered Devon. George Montgomery of Dayton, Ohio, receiving his trophy for winning as the Little Eliminator. To the beautiful Otis Automotive Special of Akron, Ohio, goes the trophy for Middle Eliminator. Martin Nelson Dragmaster was considered, in the judge's opinion, the safest constructed car of the meet. They also won the trophy for the lowest ET. Wally Parks beckons to the crew of the Green Monster to share honors with Art Arfons for establishing a new top speed record on gas of 170.45 miles per hour. And here comes the Singer Miller car being pushed back to the winner's circle. The car that won the meet. And Mr. Top Eliminator himself, Rod Singer of Houston, Texas. And to the winner, the beautiful champion spark plug trophy, the DA Lubricant El Camino, and the kiss. And so another Nationals draws to a close. Records have been set and broken. Ideas have been exchanged. Enthusiasts will return to garages and workshops to create new machines that will go a little faster and get from here to there in a little less time. For this is the story of ingenuity in action.